Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Wednesday. I know I'm starting to vlog off in the middle of the week, whatever. Um, I just got back from the gym. I'm exhausted, but I have to shower really quickly, change, and then run back out because um, I have to go fill out this paperwork for the summer job thing that I'm doing. So I came back home so I could change real quick because I can't walk up in there like this. It was a bad decision to go to the gym before this thing because that means I have to walk back down the hill and then when I'm done, back up the hill, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Like it's not even a game. Hey everyone, so I'm ready. I'm wearing a, a sundress or whatever, but I'm going to wear a sweater when I go in the office because I don't want, you know, my whole boot to be out. But other than that, um, yeah, um, I'm about to go to the office, fill out that paperwork. I'm ready, I feel refreshed, a shower was needed, and I'll see you guys later. So, I just finished out um, writing the applications for this, you know, summer job thing, right? Last year, the job started in June. This year, they're trying to start the jobs in the middle of July. So I'm here all excited to work. I'm about to find somewhere else to work, honestly, because a month and a half, because I leave in August. So, like, I'm going to be sitting in the house doing nothing as usual. Like, and that's so aggravating. <clears throat> Whoever says that all pizza is the same has clearly never been to New York because but a hefty chunk of Scottish time still to play five minutes of it no matter where I go the pizza does not compare to here I'm sorry people can be mad at me all they want but that's legit how I feel I have <clears throat> really realized that I hate the heat like, I hate it. Like, everything about it. I don't care if I was born in the middle of the summer. I hate heat because I don't like sweating. If I could have the nice weather without wearing jackets, wearing sundresses and stuff, without sweating, then maybe I will like it more. But nope. Mm -mm. I don't like the heat whatsoever. And then cooling down takes forever too, like, even if you have an AC, it just takes forever to actually cool down. And I'm like, why? Why? Body, please help me. Somebody saved me from this lady. I don't know who this lady is, but she's standing too close to me. And she keeps dancing around me and stuff. And it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Mommy. I don't know who this lady is, but she's like dancing mad close to me and I don't She said she's my mom, but I don't know. You look cute today. Ah, my hair got caught on the wall. Why are you not interacting with me? I feel hurt. Why? You was just dancing all around me and now you don't want to interact with me as soon as the camera comes on? Because it's not a good song on right now. Her and her Pandora. Let me see if I can find something. In oh, right by my side. Oh, Lord Jesus. She's listening to Nikki. I got my mom listening to Nikki. My mom will listen to everything gospel and old school except for Nicki Minaj. Like, I think I like... What did I do to her? Should have never introduced her to that girl. These two Sagittarius is my mom and my wife Nicki Minaj. And you better not say that line on my camera. I can't say or, it. Before I have to bleep you out. I'm down to this. Morning kiss. You don't even know the words, man. <laughs> Let me sit here and watch her try to figure out these words real quick. I hate how dark this camera makes my eyebrows look. So, 
I'm walking down the street to my sister's house, right? And y'all want to know one of my biggest pet peeves is perverts. I understand it's life and that people are going to stare at you and people are going to look at you. I accept that. I get it. Okay, cool. Whatever. But, like, when you really go out of your way to aggressively stare at me, like, it just, it just, honestly, it makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it. Especially when you can cause problems because you're staring at me. Like, this guy was driving so slow in the middle of the street just to look at my butt and almost caused three different car accidents, one of which was a guy in a small car with three or four children in the backseat. <laughs> I don't know. Don't you wanna you No, know, it's cool. Pandora just be playing by itself sometimes. That's just what happened because I didn't I had the Pandora on there. No, I said Pandora plays by itself sometimes without you even touching it. That happens on my phone too. But yeah, back to what I was saying, like, I don't know, like, yeah, my mom was, to, was here with me, and it was maybe wrong that I was, like, flipping out and stuff. I was mad because he was staring at me so hard, but sometimes you just get tired. You honestly just get tired of having to constantly deal with nasty old men ready to cause car accidents just to get a nice little peek at your butt and, and stuff like that like I should be able to calmly in this heat wear a sundress or try to look presentable and pretty without having to worry about people causing car accidents so yes just now I bugged out a little bit I did I'm not even gonna lie I was like can you drive but I'm calm now. And Nicki Minaj is playing, so I feel better. Yeah. It's like I just. Hey, Booga Booga. Look at me. Say hi. Hi. Did you have a good day at school? Yes. What are you watching? What's this show? Mystery friends? Yeah. That sounds cool. Yo, yeah, I'm tired. I don't know if y'all can tell. But my eyes are like so. Like, I'm ready to go to sleep, and it's not even dark outside yet. Mm. I'm so tired. morning everybody it is now Thursday I'm at my sister's house um babysitting trying to find my niece's cup because she's sick she had a stomach ache yesterday and she can only eat Gary but she has a specific cup that she drinks out of and I can't find it what's the problem do you know where your cup is baby you don't know where your cup is? You haven't seen it at all? Hi. You found it! Thank you, mamas. Okay, now I'm gonna get her her Gatorade. Where is it at? But she calls it her juice. But it's, it's actually Gatorade. One second, I'll be back. Hello. Hey, Shaw. She's fine. She's just sitting here watching Powerpuff Girls, and I just gave her some of her Gatorade. You said give her more Benadryl. She's not feeling good. No, just give her. If you see that she, if she gets sick again, because I don't know how much of the apples she had. Okay. Yeah. Well, so far she's been doing good. She hasn't really been hungry. She ate like a few bites of her butter roll, and then she ate a granola bar. But other than okay. that, she just wanted some Gatorade. Okay. 
Okay, she ate the whole canola bar? Yeah. Oh, okay. When she's like that, that's the only thing I can get her to eat is the canola bars. Yeah. Alrighty. All right. Alrighty. Come in here. And this girl done went back to sleep. Oh, I woke you up. I'm sorry, Nana. Let me stop bothering her before she beat me up. <laughs> That sad moment when you go to review your schedule early again and realize you were only able to register for two of your classes because everything was closed already as soon as you went to register. And that you're going to be sitting there running around with it, like a chicken with your head off trying to get overrides into certain classes so that you'll have a full schedule for next semester. Gotta love college. Gotta love it so much, right? <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, it's maybe all worth it at the end. But college is torture. It is mind torture. Okay? So if you have very, very bad anxiety, but you're planning on going to college, please maintain yourself and learn how to deal with stress and anxiety and all stuff like that. Because trust me, if you do not handle yourself correctly and deal with, you know, your stress and your anxiety in a proper way, it will eat you alive, I promise you. And this is not to scare anybody, but this is just the reality of the situation. If you do not take care of yourself, college will eat you alive. And that is the God honest truth. Ask anybody. I don't care if it's someone who's had straight A's their whole life. They've they've experienced stress and they've experienced feeling like there's too much going on at once. Like it, it's like overwhelming to a point. And that's all I want to. Say. So it is now lunchtime for the little person. I just popped some beefaroni on the stove because she actually started to get hungry. So her mom left her that. So I just made a can of it. And she doesn't usually eat the whole can by herself. So like I just put some in a bowl. And if she wants some more later, I can just give it to her. It's good, mamas? Mmm, -hmm. yummy. <laughs> so after a long day. I'm about to take this cab home. I'm leaving my sister's house finally. I look like busted. So <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I was moving it so you didn't be in the shop. But yeah. Getting crazy. Say bye bye, mamas. Come give me a hug and kiss. Can I have a hug. I'm about to go bye. So I'm back home. I'm about to make myself some dinner because I'm super hungry. Ooh. Right now I'm just on YouTube like watching some vlogs and stuff on my phone. And um Yeah, but I'm actually kinda of tired. So after I make dinner, I might just, you know, start getting ready for bed and call it a night. So yeah. Um I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go out to a party. Yay, yay. Um, waiting for Sky to get here so we could go. Clearly, he's my New York buddy and my Morgan buddy. I go with him everywhere. But I'm making myself like a little snack before I go because <sighs> parties, I'm not gonna get a chance to eat, obviously. And I'm hungry as crap now, so. Gonna make myself some food. And that's what it is. <sighs> I think I'm gonna make like toast and oatmeal. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So yeah, there's toast in the toaster now. I don't know if you can see it. Where's the toaster? There it is. And there's hot water on the stove. 
because it's better to heat up your water on the stove than it is in the microwave. But when I'm in school, I just be heating it up in the microwave because ain't nobody got time to be leaving their room to go heat up something in the stove. Like, who got the time? Be real. I'll wait. That's what I thought. Anyway, so yeah. Um, wait for them so I can head out and then I'll see you guys later. party that we were at just now is so dry like and we're waiting for it to get popping so we just came to the corner oh, store or whatever get a napkin no, I don't oh yeah let's let, let me go get some napkins hello yeah oh my god let's walk this direction let me put my camera away before we get robbed out in this life <laughs> So we're leaving this party early like it got lit for a little while and then it was whack again It was whack. So we're just gonna go back to Yonkers Try to scrape up some food Yeah, we really tried our best to enjoy the party, but it was it was so whack. I'm sorry and they What happened? Oh, and they played the same type of music f for most of the time. But yeah, so we're just gonna go back to Yonkers, find some food, and that's gonna be that. And I'll. Hey guys, so I just took off my face, and I do this every night. Don't judge me. Gosh. But yeah, <laughs> they want me to go to bed because they're making fun of me for vlogging. So. I guess I'll just see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's Saturday. Um, I'm in my daddy's car, about to go to his house for the weekend because it's Father's Day weekend. So they're doing a thing at his church on Sunday for Father's Day. Hey dad. Huh? Hey dad. Hi. But y'all not even gonna believe, I'm so aggravated. So I posted, I posted. I put my alarm on for 8.30, right? And then, I get a call at 10 o'clock, which was the time that I was supposed to be ready, for my dad to come get me. So that, because we're going to a dinner today, and then I have his church tomorrow and all stuff like that, right? Yeah. So, he calls me, it's 10, 16, I didn't hear my alarm. And it still says that it's set. I still even haven't even changed it back. It still says that it's set for 8.30, and I have yet to hear this thing go off. Oh, so I'm very very frustrated and then on top of that I didn't even pack to go to his house yet so we're like an hour behind schedule and then not only that like I cut my foot last night and didn't even realize it went to bed and everything 
my dad had to come inside help me clean my toe off and everything like that because I cut it and it was bruised and it was bleeding and it was just disgusting and I couldn't even move my toe like it hurt really bad so like this morning is just starting off bad hopefully the day turns around but I was just super aggravated by that and I'm hungry so y'all know how I get when I'm hungry I get hung it's what is it hangry I get hungry angry because <laughs> that's Jamaican isn't it hangry oh my god no because Jamaican people don't say H's that's what mine is uh, no no but they put H's where they don't belong <laughs> so that's why I said hangry yeah <laughs> so yeah that's what's happening right now oh my god. and you know I just threw on a romper and some vans, put my hair in my, you know, signature poof, and I'm calling it a day. My dad's about to give me some food. I'm just, y'all don't even know. Like, and then last night, like that party, like it started off good, but then it was so whack. Like he played Jamaican music for like a straight two hours. Like I was just so blown. And then the DJ kept speaking in Patois over the music. Like it was just so bad. Like. Like a sub and chips for four bucks, or you want Mickey D's? Um, Subway's over there, so okay. yeah, you can get sub and chips. Because yeah, I had one the other day, so I got okay. yeah, yeah, this is good. So, like, and then we could just find a corner store so I could get Arizona, but like. I was just so blown, like, because he really was just talking over the music. And then when he did play English music, he only played it for, like, two seconds. Like, I was just so blown. Like, even though I love Caribbean music as much as the next guy, but that was just really, 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 really just not the way it was last night. And, like, it started off fun. We ended up having a good night. And then I ended up getting in an argument on the phone. It was just, it was just too much. Like, so, this weekend, we're going to say is like... I, on a scale from 1 to 10, it was like a 6. Around the corner? Uh, no. Straight. Keep going straight. Uh, I don't even know if there's anywhere we could park over there. Because you know the chicken store that's up there? Oh, yeah, well, I can pull around the back, right? I'll, sh I'll show you when we get there. But yeah, so my dad's just about to get me this Subway deal. He got the coupons on deck forever. Always, always. And then we're going to go grocery shopping. And then we're going to change so we could go to his Father's Day dinner. That's what's up, but so far this weekend has been a six, so hopefully it turns around. Hopefully this food will make me feel better. Hey guys, so I'm at my daddy's house, and I'm so sleepy. Oh my God. And I wish I could take a nap, but we gotta go out to eat soon. So I might try to fall asleep for like, 20 minutes maybe while he's in the shower before I have to get home. Hey dad. Hi honey, how are you? <laughs> I'm glad you're here for Father's Day with me. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. We're at Charlie Brown's on the other side of the universe in... Almost. <laughs> Hi grandma. Hi. So we're about to go to our Happy Father's Day, Day dinner. Ooh, he came around that corner fast. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna get hit today because that's not what we're doing. No, we ain't doing so, that. I wonder how long the wait's gonna be because I'm hungry. Not very because there's hardly anybody here. Yeah, I'm hungry and. and the food is good here, so. Like, you said, yeah, it is good. It is good. Yeah, I think. The, they got the slamming steaks. Yeah, that's what I. That's the only thing I ever get when I come to Charlie Brown's, though. Oh, really? Okay. Is steak. And the salad bar, obviously. <laughs> Why are these menus so big? Like I can't even. I can't. It's huge. Menus. Food looks good. Yeah. Why did you get? Yeah, mine is bigger. Yo, this this dessert looks so good. Like. So, dinner was super good. I'm full. AF. Really, me too. My stomach is bloated. I think about five months pregnant. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, he's a corn dog. I know. Five months AF. Five months AF. <laughs> I'm so done with him. Yeah, I taught him AF today, guys. Because, you know, I'm trying not to curse in my vlogs and stuff like that. Because kids be on the internet. So I say AF. And I taught him AF today. <laughs> so now he's using it. Oh, he's such a compassionate person. I'm telling you, a more compassionate
for three to come and pray. I'm going to ask, I can call you by name, but to begin with, I'm going to ask, will three please come and pray? We thank you, God. You can give a You know what? I give a Yeah, I'm always catching you. And you don't even realize it. Everybody. Hello. <laughs> So I'm going to go away from my dad outside, but we just got done with church um, for Father's, the Father's Day service or whatever. Now we're about to go back to his house and change, probably eat lunch, and then we're going to go see the movie Essential Intelligence with The Rock and Kevin Hart, so that should be fun. And I'll see you guys later after I change and stuff. I might just change my pants because I got on a skirt and stuff right now, but that's the vibes. So yeah, see you guys later. Y'all, so I just finished seeing Central Intelligence with my dad. That movie was so hilarious. Like, I actually laughed all the way through. I'm not even, like, guessing it. Like, that movie was dumb funny. But, um, yeah, so my day is pretty much winding down. I'm about to go home, get my computer and stuff, and the rest of my camera and editing things. And then I'm going to sleep over at my sister's house. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next week.